I love it, Bonks it right, they love it. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service Youth Awards 2021. I'm excited. I'm hearing pan. Is a f is a fat. Is a fat. So tell me something. What are you nominated for today? I was nominated for positive message to music. Positive messages through music. St. Margaret's, give us some vibes in that one. Mr. Farouk Hussein, you're the permanent secretary for the Youth Ministry of Youth Development and National Service. Why is an event like this important? Our young people are our future. We celebrate the achievements of our young people and we need to nurture them. We, we, we need to uh, provide an enabling environment so that they are able to achieve their purpose in life. And uh, activities like these, like the National Youth Awards, are very important in terms of providing the inspirations, the incentives and so on for them to achieve their full potential. Tie. Thank you. Um, I'm for the category of science and technology, so you know, after I rock the science and technology tie. Naomi Joseph, how are you today? I'm great. What are you nominated for today? Art and Culture's 10 to 17 award. Uh, so that kind of art and culture person. I see you have a special guest with you. Who's that special guest? My mother. Hi, mother. How are you going? Come in a little bit now. Let's come in. What are you looking forward to most? in the Youth Awards today? To just be positive and spread many positivity and just continue to be confident. Hi Maya, what are you nominated for today? The Youth Leadership Community Service Award. Oh, you, she, she's nominated for big awards. So what are you looking forward to the most today? I am really excited to meet all the recipients even though we have to take pictures with our masks but you know congratulations to everyone here today. Ladies and gentlemen this is the Youth Awards 2021. This is the part where we get hyped. The next two people coming up are special friends of mine. Well, they're in it. Miss Janine, Chris Kennedy, your host for this evening. How are you guys going? Chris, how are you going? I'm good, I'm good, I'm phenomenal. Lovely. Janine, how are you? I am blessed, man. I'm so excited to be here. Let me tell you something. I am excited. I've been listening to music. You wanna, you wanna see something? What? St. Margaret's. Give us up to them. That has been my vibe whole evening. Yes, Youth Awards. So we are here having fun. And I'm here with the Honorable Minister Foster Cummings. So how are you going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I personally am excited. Not only because we are here at the Youth Awards, but also this is an excellent showcase for young people. How proud are you, are you of your young people? I'm exceptionally proud. We have some beautifully talented people in Trinidad and Tobago. Young people have really taken over and found their place. And we got so much response for this Youth Awards. Uh, you know, there are no losers involved, but we really, it was a very difficult choice in selecting the top awardees. Now, Minister, I challenged you a little bit, right? What was the most difficult aspect of putting together this award? I would think the challenges of the COVID pandemic and uh, the fact that we cannot uh, explode as we would usually like to and bring on all the young people as, as an audience as we would like to and most of it, you know, we have to do uh, virtually. But outside of that, it really is a very exciting. Now, I would tell you with that challenge, the ministry has really put it together well. I would like to say to all our young people, you have your life ahead of you, but you have to plan, you have to sacrifice, you have to work hard, 
pay attention to your education and your training, know what your career goals are, and work towards it. We are here at the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service to give all the support we can to make sure you realize your fullest potential. Thank you, Minister. One, two, one, two, three, let me go! What are we nominated for today? School sports. School sports. So what, what kind of athleticism do you have? What's, what's your sport? My sport is karate. How many awards are you nominated for today? I'm nominated for six awards. Six awards. That's excellent. What are you looking forward to winning the most? Which award? Personal Triumph Award. Personal Triumph Award. Lovely, lovely. All right, Miss Swan. Enjoy your day today. Good. Yes, guys, so you heard it here first. We're at the Youth Awards 2021. Ooh. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Silver Jubilee. 25 years of celebrating youth in Trinidad and Tobago. Very well, thank you. Good to be here. Looking forward to a wonderful event. Celebrating youth empowerment and success. Listen, AJ, you know the thing about this is, come in, come in. This is Youth Awards 2021. What is one memory you have of being a youth? Ooh, can't say getting into trouble now that I do what I do, but experience, having fun, a little bit of fear and uh, apprehension at times, and then the joy of just understanding that it's okay to be yourself, it's okay to be normal. So boy days were the best days. Boy days were the best days indeed. There are young people looking on. What, else, what are some words of inspiration that you can give to them looking on today? Embrace your challenges. Embrace the opportunity to learn from what some people call mistakes. They're actually your best tools in life. Have no fear about making them. They will guide you well, make you stronger. Always have a little bit of mercy for those on the other side, because soon enough your turn will come. Enjoy your youth, aspire to be you, aspire to be us, and let's do it together. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, the AG has passed through this is the National Youth Awards. All right, AG, I know you have a, a little speech on things, so I'll see you inside. I am Zakia Gill. Zakia, what are you nominated for? I am nominated for Arts and Culture. I am a spoken word artist, um, but apart from that, um, I'm also an educator. I do workshop um, in the constituency of Mayara, where I'm from, where I use spoken word as a tool to really um, highlight and teach gender-based violence and highlight basically any other social issue. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend Annalie Prime is with us. Annalie, good evening. Hi, good day, good day. Tell us one thing as a young person that you are excited for in this music industry. Opening new doors and uh, continuing on with, with the battle that has been handed on to us, you know? Yeah. And as a, as a youth, who do you look up to as inspiration? Ella Handel, David Rudder, Lauren Hill. For someone looking on trying to get into music, what is one word of advice that you could tell them as someone who is in it now? Never assume that you are the best. Just keep working on your craft, keep owning your craft. Yeah. Okay, well guys, you heard it here first. We're here with Annalie Prime. Why aren't you here? Hey, Crazy Flow, you see this one? Give my vibe, give my vibe, give my vibe. National Youth Awards 2021. We're celebrating 25 years of excellence. 
But let me tell you something. One thing that is common here is that we have special guests. We have the nominees passing through. We have ministers. Where are you? You're probably home watching it, right? So, my name is Chrisette Benjamin. So, well, Chrisette, what are you nominated for? Okay, so I am the president and founder of the I Believe in Success Foundation, and we were nominated for the most improved youth group. You lie, so all your most improved. Okay, so what else are you looking forward to in this National Youth Awards 2021? Okay, so firstly, let me commend the ministry for highlighting youth and youth organizations for all the volunteerism, for all the hard work that you put out. And I'm also looking forward to see some persons that you don't always see highlighted in mainstream media. Sorry, let, let me do my job. I forget, you know, we, we, we hear National Youth Awards, we like Sir Okor, my friend and them. Hi, it's for the people who don't know you. What is your name? My name is Gabrielle Molino. So I am the founder of a nutrition education business entitled Balance Bits with Gabs, and I am nominated for the health and wellness segment. Always believe in yourself. We know that this COVID-19 pandemic has been very hard, but always find ways to pivot. Use social media to your benefit. That's what I did, and I'm here today. Right. Youth Awards 2021. All right, so we'll take a little break and come back. I've seen some other people walking in. Hopefully you can catch them, fellas looking, come out in a fresh suit. If you see suit, if you see suit, that is a $3,500 suit. I've seen it. I know that is a $3,500 suit. Anyhow, all right, so we'll be back. In the meantime, DJ Crazy Flow, give us something, man. Who's drinking it first? Who's drinking it first? Who's drinking it first? Who's drinking it first? What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for the uh, most outstanding meal. Um... Mentor over 35. Most outstanding male mentor. You know, that's something that we need, right? Male mentors. You know, I wish I had more, but we thank God, same way, man. All right, so quickly before we go, before we go, let me know one word that describes Youth Awards 2021. Dynamic. Dynamic. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so guys, I'll see you inside. What are you guys nominated for? Let them know quick. Um, I think it's the most effective community youth project. Okay, okay. You see, I'm team, I just passed. So I'm one of the facilitators within the our senior project. I'm very proud of you guys. Very, very proud. And what are you nominated for? Personal Triumph Award. I know the voice. I know the face. And I also know my alphabet. All right, so today is why is for youth awards. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not good at that. All right, how are you going, sir? I'm fine, how are you? For the, I'm good. For the people who live under a rock, what is your name and who are you? My name is Stefan Feldman and I am the Trini Alphabet Man. Everybody knows as that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're looking for your A for apples, B for bananas, this guy had, listen, you had the world by storm for a little bit. But what are you nominated for today? I am nominated for the Communication and Media Award. Communicate. Oh, so you take it from me? Oh, you take it from me then? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh because I, I thought I was getting a little prize. I thought they call me and tell me, yo, Chico, you know you got trailer. Oh, it's you. Congrats, man. All right, so what are you looking forward to today in the Youth Awards? I think the most important thing we have to realize and looking forward to today is meeting all those vibrant persons, young persons who definitely is the future of our country. I love that. I love that. So, okay, well, my name is Kobe Sandy and I'm nominated for the Most Outstanding Youth Award for Students. Uh, all us get some kind of nice awards. Why? I could ever get out in school? Sec primary school, she could just talk too much. Secondary school, she could just talk too much. Tertiary? He's talked too much. 2021, he's still talked too many. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's a personal thing. So, when you were nominated, what feelings entered your body when you were nominated? Of course, a feeling of humility, and of course, to reassure that I am in the service uh, to serve, uh, to serve my fellow colleagues, and to, of course, empower. This is actually my fourth time being nominated at the National Youth Awards 2014, 2015, 2019, and now 2021. And certainly, 
I, I, I do hope to see that we continue in the, in the strength to grow and to empower the youth of this wonderful country. And Jesse Ramcharan is the name, and the organization is Global Peace Chain Trinidad. We promote peace through the UN SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. It's a global organization, it's only started in Trinidad this year. And with me, I have ambassadors, Global Peace Ambassadors from Trinidad. What I'm excited about is networking with the others here today. I'm sure all of these people can be ambassadors for the Global Peace Chain of Trinidad. That's what I'm proud of. You, you, you're real bright, boy. You, you put some letters together, UNSRC. <laughs> Anybody you want to say hi too quick? Yeah, I just want to shout out to the community at Cedrus, because that's where I'm from, yeah, right? Cedrus, so, yeah, community, thanks. Lovely, see you inside. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Anybody ask you how you been? <laughs> the thing is, nobody asks me. Nobody really asks me that. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Just give me a second, Ali. Just, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Yes, man. So, mm -hmm. well, tell me about yourself and what are you be? What are you nominated for today? Right. So I am representing these guys here. All the guys who hold any camera. <laughs> That's what I do. I am nominated for Positive Youth Message to Film. I am a filmmaker, I love filmmaking, and I like the concept of encoding stories, good messages, and the things that needs to be out in the community through that platform. So at 19, what gives you that drive and determination to go for those unconventional things? Uh, I think the real thing is time. When you look at time, when you see how time is so short, for example, I have family members who have cancer, and you go through that and you see that every moment matters, you really try to make the most of it and you try to put something good into the world. I, I am very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. So keep up the good work. Yes, guys, this is the Silver Jubilee. 25 years of making us in Trinidad and Tobago proud, celebrating youth. This is the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service.